Hey guys, Ethan Entertainment back here with another Trapped Minecraft video. And today I am going to start a new series, um, which is the Trapped Challenges. And in each video, I'll be showing you one of my trap challenges. Now this one is a special three challenge video i'm just going to be showing you the challenges that i've already reviewed um with you in the behind the scenes so first we're going to take a look at goblet of ice um and so the way this one works is the unfortunates start over here on this platform of ice and this one it was my first challenge I ever made and it took around 10 minutes to make and it's a floor four challenge by the way um and I really like the simplicity of the details on this one so they start over here and there is a lot of snow right there so then they pick up some snow which I will do and let's trade it out for this so they'll pick up some snow and then they'll parkour across um, here and then they go to the other platform. And then they can place... Uh-oh. Well, I've noticed a flaw. So, um... Let me fix that. Um... I just noticed that you can't place snow on ice. So how about that? And then they can place one snow piece and go back. But if they fall... All of their snow is taken away. And at the end of 90 seconds, if they have a full block on top of, of the snow, then you win. But the saboteur will be trying to fall off and take away your snow. So, um, yeah, that's how my first challenge that I made goes. And that one is from the Real Trapped Game Show. Some of these I made up myself. You know, let me just keep these back. <clears throat> and then the second one that I made, which I've also already discussed with you guys, is, um... Forbidden Chambers, and this is a floor three. It was my first floor three and the second challenge I ever made. And so, um, there are four different rooms, as you can see, and each one has a stack of four, um, different colored, uh, oh, what do you call them? Concrete sands, I think concrete powders and then what you're going to try to do is get all of a particular color in its room and you have to get two full colored stacks and no two people can be in the same room at the same time but the um the saboteur will be like taking maybe the orange away from the orange room and putting it in the blue room, per se. Or they might try to trap someone in a room because if someone is in the purple room and then the saboteur is in the orange room, they've trapped someone in the blue room. And so this is one of my favorites, as I've already explained. So, um... Yeah, now we're going to be checking out the fight for freedom. And, uh, yeah. So, um, what you do is there are two people left in the fight for freedom. 
And so each person stands on their particular um, color, diamond or gold. Gold is over there. And they have to answer questions correctly to move up spaces to the key, which is a lever. And they have to answer questions about their time in the challenges and tower. Like one might be, what color was the four on floor four? And it was magenta, and it was magenta concrete, by the way. So if they answered magenta, they would come this way. And one might be like, who got trapped in forbidden chambers? And then you say, like, Ethan. And then you move up one. And then who... But this person gets a question, and then that person gets a question. But if this person... Sorry. If this person gets a question wrong, then the person on Diamond gets a step forward. And so, um... Yeah. I This... Um, format of the Fight for Freedom is only used in Season 4, Trapped Ever After, but I like this one because it uses flashbacks, so then if they get the question right or wrong, it's, it uses like a flashback of the episode, so you see if it's right or wrong or whatever. So that's the reason I use this one instead of the original one in the first three seasons. Um, yeah. So, that is all I have for you today in the Trapped Empire. Thanks for watching the first episode of Trapped Challenges. And like, like and subscribe to see more Trapped Minecraft. Bye!